In part three of our four-part series, we'll show you how to read a metric micrometer. If you're not familiar with micrometer terminology, please view video one. The pitch of the screw thread is 0.5 or one half millimeter, so a full revolution of the thimble moves the spindle 0.50 millimeters. The reading line on the sleeve is graduated in millimeters above the line. Each millimeter is divided in half below the line. The beveled edge of the thimble has 50 graduations, each representing 0.01 millimeters. Every fifth line is numbered. The number of millimeters plus half millimeters visible on the sleeve plus the hundreds of a millimeter on the thimble is your measurement. In this example, the last sleeve line visible is the bottom line after the 5 for a value of 5.5. The thimble scale value at the sleeve line is 28, so the measurement is 5.5 plus 0.28 or 5.78 millimeters. Many metric micrometers have horizontal lines above the sleeve scale positioned to work with the lines on the thimble as a vernier scale. Two types are available. The first has six vernier lines and provides a measurement to the closest two thousandths of a millimeter. The second has 11 vernier lines and can measure to the closest one thousandth of a millimeter. Even if the metric micrometer has a vernier scale, if a part has a larger tolerance, read only to the closest hundredth of a millimeter. Since each metric micrometer has a 25 millimeter range, the sleeve scale for larger capacity tools will begin with 25, 50, or 75, as well as zero. For instance, the scale of a 225 to 250 millimeter micrometer would begin with 25, a 150 to 175 millimeter tool with 50, and a 175 to 200 millimeter tool with 75. The lower number of the tool's range plus the thimble and sleeve reading is your measurement. With a little practice holding the micrometer in part, turning the spindle with just the right amount of force, and interpreting the information on the thimble and sleeve, you'll be able to make an accurate, reliable measurement every time.